Hey, fun day. I'm hitting the big warehouse in Hudson, New York, and I'm gonna try to go downtown and see if I have enough energy and enough time to hit a few other antique shops. Let's dive right in. Okay, the warehouse, diving right in. Big shop, huge, huge shop. Apparently, entering through door 21, a friend of mine has something, a woman I know from uh, doing antique shows has something to do with the shop. First thing I see, a uh, game board, cool game board. It didn't work out for me, but really cool game board. Look at that, that's a full size little sailboat. Really big shop, really wide aisles. Uh, mostly, most of the booths are really well, well like decorated, set up. Uh, has definitely sort of a design aspect to it as opposed to some antique malls where everything's just jumbled together. Uh, cool place right off the bat, like I said, really big. A lot of cool stuff, super, this was cool. Uh, price probably on the money, but a nice, nice target. This, this cupboard was cool. Here's my girlfriend checking out the cupboard. She actually knows more about antique furniture than I do. Although I think I know a little bit, but she definitely, uh, she has a good eye for antique furniture. I haven't grown up with a dad who was a dealer. Yep, yeah, mortised, neat, neat, neat cupboard. Game wheel. I've had a lot of these over the years and didn't work for me, but neat game wheel. Yeah mid-century modern for sure a little bit of everything in this antique place a huge i love this thing but alas such as my such as my luck always not for sale um i always find those not for sale items some of the shop was less decorated than other parts of the shop a little more set up like an antique mall i kind of i kind of dug this painting no price on the painting board no price. These these had prices. These were kind of neat too. Uh, not for me, but two hundred twenty-five dollars. Yeah, design definitely design oriented. This shop, really cool place. You actually there was three shops in one sort of like three different owners, three different places, and you go from building to building. I love this sign. Love 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 this sign. Ugh. Did not love this full size giraffe. Sad to see. Now here's. Here's the back shop, a whole nother different shop. This booth designed like a lodge, Coke sign, super cool Coke sign. Yeah, a lot of a lot of uh, modern aesthetics to this place. I love this painting, also not priced. Um, happens in antique malls, happens in antique shops, stuff not priced. This booth was not really a booth. I don't know if this is storage. You got to a point and told you not to keep going back, but. I uh, love that sign, also not priced, but also like I said, that was in the storage area, so that could have been sold. Really big place, three big places actually, so it was like three big places in one. If you went into, you could go from one to the other to the other, not priced again, I loved them. I, I like clown shoes, I guess those are like clown bowling shoes, kind of neat, but not priced. Some traditional stoneware. Every painting on the wall, $125, actually some neat kind of paintings if you were looking to decorate. Yeah, this booth was not open to the public, except for when they were there to work it. Um, some more taxidermy, sad, sad to see. Not for me. Yeah, this was a shop that you could go into that was also you could get into from the outside. And so the owner of this shop would be there, but if they weren't there, you could take it out to the big, the big tables and buy it. They did have this hooked rug mounted, already mounted. Mounting's always expensive. So yeah, it was a this, this neat warehouse. It was like three different of these things have really gone up in value recently. I love this, some folk art. Early signs, or signs, antique sign. Love the decorated jug. This thing was really cool. I've had these in the past. Actually, probably not a super bad price, particularly this close to the city for the design aesthetic. Human model of the eye, I love that. Yep. Uh, different booths, so a lot of the booths had their own sort of marketing, their own branding. And like I said, you were in three different warehouses, and so the warehouse, well, one big warehouse, but it was sort of like three different shops, and they all connected, but you had to buy the stuff within the one building before you, or the one shop before you went to the other shop. And then within the, the warehouses were other shops that were also open. This was cool. Had a terrible price, $95. Kind of, kind of dug that painting for some reason I'm not sure I also like that painting and then you go down here in the same booth this was kind of neat I'm kind of surprised they were sold individually I think that would probably work better as a grouping I don't know only had to sell one grouping as opposed to five of them some more art a lot of art 
a lot of lighting. This was the middle warehouse, I believe, at this point I'm in. A lot of lighting in this booth. Um, like I said, you could go from warehouse to, within the warehouse, you could go from shop to shop and buy. Uh, yeah, really, really cool place. A lot, of, a lot of signs, a lot of stuff with, I guess, the more decorative value. Not to say that it wasn't old, but just that the objects were old and had a decorative value to them. Yeah. A lot of big pieces of furniture. This is back in the first warehouse that I went into, or the first, first shop within the warehouse that I went into. A lot of big things in this section. My friend Stephanie Lloyd has something to do with it. Hey, there's always money in the hot dog stand. Always money in the hot dog stand. Is that a rest of the development reference for those of you? Yeah. Another more big stuff. Yeah. Reupholster some chairs if you're looking for it. They got the old chairs. Such a neat place, so big. I actually got kind of fatigued being there after a while and looking, just sort of run out of steam. A lot of really cool big things. This blanket chest was nice. This this had this had a really neat uh, original old paint. Really love the design to it. And this table, I don't know. That's the crust you want. That's the surface you want. I loved it. Painting was neat. Vermont chopped cheese. Big thing in the back. A lot of cool stuff. Um, yeah, me and this guy just hanging out, saying hello. This was actually a good deal. I think this was 40 bucks. That was a good deal. I probably should have bought that. Whole booth of uh, stoneware. I am a. Uh, Really, when I first started dealing, I bought a lot of stoneware. I don't buy as much anymore because it's kind of hard to find at what I think is a cheap enough price. But I still love, I still love early stoneware, particularly the blue decorated pieces. That piece had a crack, but yeah, downtown Hudson, super cute. I went there. I actually went to this shop as well. After leaving, after leaving the warehouse, the warehouse did wear me out a little bit. But I checked out this shop downtown. They had a lot of paintings by this Earl guy. Um, eclectic mix for sure, probably a, a better if you're kind of a younger collector dealer. Yeah, I don't know who Earl is, but they had a lot of his art, kind of funky stuff. Down the street, Motorcycle Cafe. Never been in a motorcycle cafe, motorcycle shop slash cafe. But yeah, it was a motorcycle shop in the back and a cafe in the front. Really cool place actually. Um, did not buy a motorcycle, but I did buy a latte with a heart in it and trying to be a millennial so I got avocado toast church up the street the before I die thing yes yes that's what we need a euro from a street vendor I actually got one it was pretty good pretty tasty pretty tasty they had this payphone I haven't seen a payphone in a while but alas this payphone is now art because it's broken and it's covered in graffiti and stickers no better place to eat the euro than down at the river. Okay, uh, zero buys today. I hit only hit one shop downtown. The, the antique mall is huge. Took a lot of energy, a lot of time. I just didn't find anything that I thought was uh, had enough room for me right now. I'm really trying to make uh, things worth my time. But uh, really cool place. Definitely a great place to go if you're looking for some big stuff or looking for some funky stuff you're a decorating collector cool cool place just be sure to uh, be prepared to spend lots of time there and obviously you're right right by Hudson and Hudson is a really cool artsy town too a lot of art galleries a lot of cool looking shops wish I had more time and more money I'd go back and do it all over again anyway uh, I hope you enjoyed this video and enjoy my time antiquing and trying to make a living doing this anyway thanks for following along and thanks for watching peace